Holding this imbalanced vibrations, family. Let me be the first to welcome you as a reflection of you. I'm your brother Curtis Aru, and this is the One Tribe Podcast, home of the Daily Spectrum Resonance, where we share solutions relating to physical, mental, and spiritual well being with sovereignty as our goal. We discuss what works with the depth guests, tribe, no theory, just raw unapologetic truth because truth is nature and we honor her gifts so leave your esoteric shoes at the door and let's make soul connections with every step forward let's keep vibing in resonance at top speeds because the portal is now open oh. wholeness and balance vibrations family i trust you well vibing in resonance at top speeds i'm your brother curtis aru the reflection of you and i'm honored to come to you and bring you this essence of truth today will be unapologetically myself as everyone should be right so as we talk about what's going in in today's essence sit down relax put in your thinking cap uh, or your, your feel into this resonance if some things seem far from your perspective bring it in write it down take the science fiction and Look into a bit, a bit deeper. Man's best friend. Doge? Sheba? What do they have in common? Dog faces. What do dogs have? Why do dogs have us so it's such intermingled into humanity at this particular era in our in our in our growth and our ascension? What does that mean? Dogs just trying to get a leg up. You know, they're just trying to warm it just a little bit longer so you can let them into the house, come sit at the table, and treat them like they like you treat yourself. I've seen dogs with sweaters and, and, and slippers with a bonnet on while they sleep to protect their fur. How do the money changes? Because that's what we're talking about today. Uh, money changes. How do they use these particular characters to drive humanity into where they want it to be think of yourself as a hunter if you ever seen a hunter you've seen how some we have hounds or dogs and when are they released when they're trying to get something they're trying to the game to get the game and as we know the powers that control the essence of money have been running quite quote unquote well for quite some time in order for them to continue the same thing. If you've always did what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten and what they've gotten has been slaves who need this thing they call finances or money to get things done. They want to get it done. They always gonna want this thing. And cryptocurrency whoosh, threw a major wrench in the way things used to be. It will never be the same again. Ever, ever, ever. The time is now to get into cryptocurrency. And whereas before, your, your spending would be calculated, tracked, made, made as credit, and then would be used to, to sell and buy and trade on a data brokerage. Um, determine if you should get a loan or not. Determine if you should go to school or not. Determine if you should do a many of things based on your financial probability of gains that you would offer to the system in the hands that be. Either you could participate in the market or you can't because of you don't meet the regulations or the criteria. Now, if you have a smartphone, you can get in there, be a part of it, have a space to receive and use it and send with anybody else in the world that you would love to make the exchange. You can be a part of it and that throws off the balance of the system because now everybody has a voice financially and as we know when you move currency from crypto into well from fiat into crypto any centralized uh, standard of, of payment it leaves that economy and goes into a global economy if you go to coinmarketcap.com coinmarketcap.com you will see the value of the last 24 hours uh, of transaction I'm sure it's in the billions somewhere and well over 
in the billions, 40 billion, billion with a B. And that this is not only dollars, US transaction, this is yen, dinero, pesos, shillings, uh, uh, anything that could be exchanged for crypto has been. I once uh, used uh, an amethyst to get some crypto, amethyst crystal. So when that's being jeopardized, I got my notes here, when that's being jeopardized of the current being lost or the power being lost, the masters of it or the holders of it, release the hounds, get them. <clears throat> it's nasty. And so you see, and everybody loves the underdog. Everybody loves the underdog. You know, it's the way you play on the, the emotions. You know, started from the bottom, now we're here. We love it. Because it's a, a fabric of, of who we are. Starting from the low, going into the high echelons, climbing the ladder. This is all part of the same parable. And the fact that they know the human behavior that is is prevalent in society is how you played how they've played on the system using this alchemy to change the energy to get exactly what they want to be the outcome of humanity Sheba Sheba went up 2,263% that's a bad bitch and all the Nagas love bad bitches I love bad bitches I got a fucking problem yes it's a fucking problem and nobody or very few are coming with solutions to aid you with this problem. What is the problem you may ask? The ability to look, to peer in deeper with different lens and other perspectives because we've been cut off. Everybody's been talking about it. Everybody's been babbling about it. It's been the talk of Babylon. And the problem with Babylon as it later stands after its fall is that they couldn't communicate properly because they didn't see each other as each other and it caused a major rift that we still see today where everyone had a piece of the truth and not to get me wrong Babylon had its heights where with this tower was building to the moon or to the heavens where it said that the gods would meet humans here at this intersection as they built it but something happened the thing that destroyed and, and had the fall where they say hey nah this can't happen let us go down and confuse them. So as we know, there are 7,000 plus languages in the world. 3,000 of them you found on the motherland in Africa. And we wonder why it's been so hard to get things together because some of these languages are just completely different. Not even close. The same cognates, cognates or, or roots. I remember uh, when, I, when I lived in Kenya for a bit, uh, where I would have my friends assist me with you no know, learning the language, of course, and I would ask them, you know, what was being said uh, within uh, within different exchanges, and sometimes it might be a, a laughter. Uh, like, what, what happened? What, what's the laughing about? What, what was the um, what was said? And my friend would say, "Cut this." And there's no there's no English translation for this. And a part of the noise of this, yeah, so I'm trying to talk a bit louder. There's no English translation, and that's, we speak in English, you know, English is already a backwards a language, as it's very limited and boxed in. So, learning other expressions of self and other words to say certain things, essences, it aids you in connecting more of the nations together within yourself, understanding. And even in, in uh, Sanskrit, we, we find or African parables, or African proverbs, or other proverbs, where you find one couple words that make a whole paragraph in English, a whole page presentation in English, and this was the 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 skills of our ancestors to be able to say exactly 
what is being meant to birth the things into reality that is needed for sustainability and sovereignty. And with this whole Sheba thing, or Sheba and uh, Dog Chain, had everybody wishing, because the essence of it was so it can, it can usurp the you can usurp the energy. You can go from from here to there, from zero to to a thousandaire, a thousand millionaire. You know, if you put you play the you play your hands right, and it goes up. If it only just goes to a dollar, they're wishing. Only to know that after Elon, <laughs> they are the homie bought a, a, a rocket to go to, with the Doge, used the people, pumped it up, removed his assets, and bought a whole rocket to go to the moon. <laughs> Leaving you still here with your fiat. In Babylon, they seen themselves as facing the past and walking backwards. I'll say that again. They seen themselves as facing the past and walking backwards into the future. Once more. They seen themselves as facing the past and walking backwards into the future. And anybody who has been tapping into the Secret Energy uh, mentorship, we've talked about it ad nauseum. The Supreme Brachium. So if you're on that frequency, you can already verify and validate what they, where, what frequency they should be coming on when they say exactly that. Walking forward into their past. Facing the past. Because we end up moving forward when it's really facing the opposite direction. Every time we walk forward, we're stepping away from our superior bracket in a different direction. So this connection was lost. <laughs> Let us go down to confuse them. I said that. And when the fall happens, this fall is not just boom, you hit the surface. And anybody who's fallen knows that when you hit that impact, mm, it takes you a while just to get your breath. <sighs> then get your legs together. Then stand up. And then think about climbing the tree all over again it's a process there's an order to this thing and when you see something big hit the ground there's a crater because you just don't hit the surface and bounce back up you go through to the next layer down and who's down there your dogs the hood anubis down there waiting for you the god of the underworld and what do you get in exchange for navigating the underworld because you can't really see so you need some assistance that's why the hunters use these dogs so they can't see they can't peer into the dog's ability so they have to get help and if you're gonna partnership in the underworld you're gonna, have, you're gonna come off a bit dirty you're gonna take a piece of you you want you want this will take me with you hence dogs are at the table canines and they rise to a certain level of power within our reality because they're allowed to. There was a conference I watched a while back, a couple years ago actually, that saved me and that out, uh, stood out to me. It was, um, we're aspiring to be humans. We're aspiring to be humane. And they are cognates of each other, but seemingly sometimes very far apart because humanity and our society still feel still sees that it's okay for homelessness to be prevalent for the killing of, of children and women in the sake of peace and God peace and God that's a lose-lose. I'll let that resonate. And until we can bring ourselves together to make those decisions, not, and it's not an individual thing, but you, you do individually speak about that within your domain and see if that, that doesn't happen in your space. 
and we know the math on that. We know the ma'at on that. We know the principles that aid in the balance. And <laughs> fragile is unity. Balance is that little point in between. So you got to be on point on the scene. And if you're running with the bulls, the Bible, the Bible, or the dogmas, the dog mothers, dogmas, the dog mothers will have you raising their puppies instead of raising your jet. Raising your dragons, the kundalini, from the crown of your head so you can go up the ladder instead of down to a bed of thorns. <laughs> uh, or say a bed of roses. Raising the kundalini, raising the energy, raising the jet. <laughs> and so dogs don't sit at my table. They don't. And the ancestor will tell you the roles of these particular characters in the reality and how to use this within yourself. Nothing externally, but how to do this within yourself. All friends don't belong everywhere. Man's best friend. Yes, you assisted me from getting from this point to this point. But here, I must wash my hands of you. I must put you in this, this, this space. I need you for this role, not here. I don't need you sleeping in, uh, in, our, in our California size bed. <laughs> you, ha you belong in, in, in a specific place. And this has friends. They don't belong everywhere. Some friends you can take to, to, to have a good time, go, go to the mountains, you know, go bowling. Some friends you can't, the same friends, some of them you can't take to go visit your elders. Uh, need not explain more. You can't take everyone everywhere. So again, they don't sit at the table with me. They don't sit at the table and angels will tell you their roles. The roles of Anubis, the roles of Hermanubis, the roles of Samara, Sarama. Which are the three in the image in the thumbnail. Sarama. Sarama is Sanskrit for the runner. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> Same essence. The runner. The dog has an ancient role. And that ancient role, it plays to the tune of go fetch. It plays to the tune of pushing things to one into another space. And you see that with, with hunting. And specifically, females. Female dogs. And the other name for, you can find this on Wikipedia, the other name for Sarama is Divine Bitch or the Bitch of the Gods. Hence, dog. Spelled backwards. You get it. Dog. God. God. Dog. Spelled backwards. It's God. You get the energy. And who is the OG canine? Oh! The wolf. Where does the wolf howl? howl? To the moon! <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Enough said. This is the play on humanity. Using the dogs as the hunters or the masters to push humanity out into the clear so they can be picked off if you're operating in cryptocurrency you're operating cryptically I'll leave it at that don't allow yourself to be played in reality with the tools of the dangling of the bait I'm your brother Curtis Aru, the reflection of you let's continue to dive into the depths on what is true within ourselves and how to tap into the order so that we may move further together, ascending up the ladder and we know how to come down without becoming a crater. We don't fall. We mindfully go up and down the ladder, assisting others as we need. Giving thanks to the family, my secret energy family, Supreme Brother Stevan, um, uh, uh, my sister Michelle, uh, my sister, all my all my crypto family that came through. 
I got some beautiful people who assist them with, with this whole thing. The camera that I have here, uh, all love. Um, a, n a number of things. I give thanks for them all. If I left your name out, charge it to my head, not my heart. I give thanks. I am also a soul coach with secretenergy.com. You can find me at onetribe.io for some one-on-ones with the crypto flow. So until next time, wholeness and balanced vibrations. Check out one of these pendants too.